My favorite is basically laying under them, looking through them, and then seeing the sunshine, man. I love to see the leaves fall. It's just beautiful, man. You bring the birds, it's a little cooler. It's just all around beautiful. To me, it's like a, its own creature, you know, so I give it the respect as I want someone to give me respect. Uh, my name is William Guerrero, and I'm in uh, Ramona Gardens today. It's kind of its own spot, man. It's like between Northeast Los Angeles and East Los. So it's kind of its own little community in a way. Oh yeah, man, well, my roots come here. My great, my grandparents uh, came here from Mexico. So I'm third generation. Then it was my mother here, and then me. I was here as a kid, but now I stay not too far in Al Sereno, which is a neighboring city. I used to run around here, man, when I was a kid, man. I used to run in the hills. The hills are my favorite part. Um, I grew up in around Northeast Low, so I just fell in love with the hills. That's how nature got to me. So I love to see, you know, the abuelitas, the old, the old grandpas out here, you know, just to see the old school vibes, you know, you, the different plants, the food, the music, the culture, the art. It's just, uh, it resonates with me, of course, but it's very beautiful, man. I love it. Uh, man, I've been working for Northeast Trees, I would say about going four to five years, and I love everything about it, man. It's a small group, beautiful people. Uh, basically, all they do, their goal is to bring nature back into urban and disturbed areas in Los Angeles, you know, my stomping ground. Inside the projects right now, we're gonna plant a total of 80 trees, but this, uh, this project that we're working on is called Green Connection. So basically, we're, we're going around Ramona Gardens, a two mile radius, and we're planting street trees everywhere. So that could be any native, non-native, uh, huge trees, basically to create canopies, make it cooler, trap carbon, fight global warming, and then uh, to create green pathways, man, for, for the families that go, for the buses, for the streets all around, man. Now they could walk. We're planting so many more. So it's hundreds more out of Ramona, trying to connect it to the hills. We got Ascot Hills back here. There's a lot of beautiful areas, but it's nothing there, man, no trees. So it's kind of hot, you know, you can't just walk, especially if somebody doesn't have a car. So this is really gonna help them get there. They could take a break, you know, go under the tree. When it comes to the shade trees, where we try to trap carbon, we use a lot of varieties. So some are non-native and some are native. So some of the native ones we planted today are coast live oaks, very beautiful, huge trees. Uh, I wish I could plant all of them. Uh, for instance, the coast live oak, it could live up to 1200 years. So. Even when I go, man, my, my, my legacy still lives. Of course, the acorns, man, it's beautiful. You can, you can eat them yourself. Animals love them. Uh, they're evergreen, so they never, they're always green, drought tolerant. So they're perfect for here. It's, it's its home, you know? We don't get too much rain, so it does really good with that. And it's huge, man, it looks so beautiful, you know? It will cover a large area. The canopy could be over 100, 200 feet, man, if you have a huge one, you know? The importance of native plants, man, is to do restoration to restore ecosystems. You could connect neighborhoods to make the earth more rich and just bring all the animals that belong here. You know what I mean? It, people ask what nature is. Tree is definitely a part of it.